thank you. Now an update on one of my former Wednesday's children. She was a young teenager searching for an adoptive home when I first brought you her story back in January. Well, here's what she did this summer. 15-year-old Destiny is creating art. This is her painting, which will eventually be part of a public art display hanging on the side of a building on the east side of the Burnside Bridge. But you may remember Destiny from last January. She was 14. We spent the morning at the gym where she was learning to climb the silt. Oh! <laughs> at that time, Destiny was hoping to find an adoptive family and Destiny's wish has come true. She's in the final stages of adoption. The adoption has been going great. I'm excited, but also nervous. This summer, Destiny was part of Color Outside the Lines in a special project called Unity, art by foster and adoptive children to be hung as public art. This is your painting, Destiny, and it's gonna be hanging up on a building, so you really had to think about this because people are gonna see this artwork yeah. in the city for like seven or 10 years. Yeah, that's... <laughs> still kind of crazy. Destiny was paired with Japanese artist Yuji, who helped her along as a mentor, a teacher, and a friend. Oh, she was amazing. Very inspirational, uh, very articulate. And then, so I'm so happy to have uh, my assistant, or I shouldn't say assistant, co-worker or the collaborator or, you know, team teammates. I would be like, oh, can we add this? And he'd be like, oh, yeah because mostly I was like I wasn't asking to incorporate like a specific thing in a specific place I asked to incorporate like a color or like a like I asked to incorporate the rainbow and like extra purple and stuff and he's like yeah we can figure out a place to put that Anna Barlow runs the art program she paired Yuji with destiny it was always such a joy to have her come into the room the room lights up and her and Yuji were just such an incredible pair and just had such a happy demeanor the whole time, very committed, and it was just, so, it was wonderful to have her, yes. I hope to continue to make art with her this year. <laughs> Before this, I was very, like, self-conscious about my art, and I'm like, I'm not very good at art, and now, through this, I'm like, actually, I'm not that bad. She was once one of my Wednesday's children, now she's an artist, spreading her wings and looking forward to her new adoptive family. Destiny. Now, her uh, adoption is in committee right now, so she hopes by the end of the year, even before that, mm -hmm. that that will be approved. And her artwork will go up on the building at 11th and Burnside, you know, by Noble Rot there in that same building, within a few weeks, they we'll say. We'll have to follow up and yeah. see it once yeah. it's yeah. hanging once it's up. There, we take a it's always it. nice to see those stories come full circle. So it's come full know? circle all the yeah. way. I just love it. Yeah. yeah. And you can see all of Jeff's stories on coin.com. And if you're interested, there's the information.